This is N2LEM with another quick video clip. This is the Tentec Jupiter. This is the RF board. 81962, I believe it is, is the actual the model number of the board. Um, what we're going to be doing is uh, replacing the ceramic filters. There's FL2. And uh, we haven't had a problem with the receive, but we might we may replace FL3. I'm not I'm sh I'm not sure. It's uh, very easy to uninstall this board. Uh, it's uh, one, two, three, five screws, which you could see. Uh, one, uh, two corner screws here. Three, four and uh, one of them is in the center, which is right here. So uh, if there's no output, you wanna replace at least um, FL2. I ordered 35 pieces of the ceramic um, filter filters. Uh, they do have a, they, they do know, they are known for being the weak point uh, on the Jupiter. But uh, it's five pins to desolder. Let me show you the pins. You can clearly see them right here. You can see four vertical and one horizontal right there. Same thing with the FL3, which I don't even need to look back. You can clearly see them. There they are. Four horizontal and one, uh, one vertical. Uh, offset very slightly. Um, they do, uh, these are CQ 33455Ds. Um, I guess th there were definitely def uh, many different revisions of this, but as you can clearly see, uh, this looks like it's never been replaced before. It looks like it's factory, factory solder on both actually. So that was probably the last revision. This is a uh, CW personality late model uh, Jupiter. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and pull it out and uh, replace it. I'm gonna use a desolder sucker, the Pace uh, MBT um, soda tool and uh, we'll get back to you when it's done. Uh, this is N2LEN with the Tentec Jupiter RF board replacing the ceramic filters FL2 for transmit and FL3 for receive. Okay, this is N2LEN with another quick video clip. Remove the uh, FL2 ceramic filter, desada sucker. There's FL2 taken out. We're just going to drop in the new one and uh, solder it in. Put the board in and then we'll test it, see if we have any. Uh, there was no problem with receive, so rather than pulling another filter we're going to just try with the fl2 this is n2len we'll be back this is n2len with another quick follow-up video clip we just installed the newer filter we just pushed it in i want to show you what it looks like before we solder it you can clearly see the pins there sticking right out we're going to just tack solder it in its spot uh, it's seated in there nice and flush and uh, that's basically it we'll be back Okay, this is N2LEN with the final video clip. Here is the um, the video of the new uh, FL2. The ceramic filter is installed. Right, you can see it right there. Let me show you once again where it is on the board. I did not replace FL3. It is receiving. Here is FL2, and here is FL3. And there you go. You can clearly see it. It says FL2 right on the board there. And here's FL3. And that's basically it. This is N2LEN saying best 7-3. This is N2LEN uh, with another quick video clip. I went ahead and uh, also installed um, FL3. You could see the two ceramic caps that I, uh, ceramic filters that I pulled out and I'm going to reinstall the board. So both FL2 
and FL3 have been replaced. This is N2LEN. Okay, this is N2LEN with a final video clip. This is the Tentec uh, Jupiter. This is a late model blue display. Um, oh, I mean a slew. We repaired the LCD. Uh, this is a different front panel. Th this was the original one was cracked in shipping. We have black covers. Um, it was rebuilt basically because it was damaged in shipping. It was purchased as a tech special. Everything was working on it except we had absolutely no output power. So uh, we went ahead and we replaced FL2 ceramic filters and FL3. Here is FL2 and right above it is uh, FL3. Uh, they were the original ones that we pulled out were the um, same spec filters, the CQ33 455Ds. Uh, I ordered them from uh, AliExpress. I ordered 35 pieces. Uh, it took quite some time uh, to come in. But uh, they were, they appear as though they were the exact, which was what was in there, uh, what, which is what I pulled out. But anyway, after replacing FL2, uh, I did one filter at a time. Uh, FL2 uh, basically uh, did not make any change in the transmit power. When I, I pulled the board out, it's five five screws, four uh, in each corner, and there's a fifth screw right here. Uh, there, when uh, there are back pins here, and then there are pins that fit in. When you when you pull the board out, gently lift it up from this corner to loosen up the pins that snap in on the board, and then you could wiggle it out. When you install it back in, first get the back pins in, push it all the way in. And gently, while looking from the side, uh, put the sides in, and this should fit snug. You don't want to bend any of the pins um, that are that are out mounted under. And I believe there are eight on each side. U seven and U uh, thirteen are the uh, pins from the from the side. So be very careful. I'm gonna go ahead and power it up. Um, we already tested the radio, uh, there's no flicker in the display, that's just the actual, um, right now it's on lower sideband, and when we key up, audio, as you can see, the power, audio, and we'll bring it right over here, audio, just about 100 watts out, audio, yep, 100 watts out, uh, that's basically it. Audio. So uh, everything seems to be working. Um, and we're gonna just unhook, and test. So when, um, so once again, it was FL3 that made the change on this particular radio. There's the FL3. But we went ahead and replaced FL2. I guess both of them can uh, work in conjunction with the receive and the transmit. So if you have n low output, this radio had no output. Uh, I replaced FL2. It did not change anything, but when we replaced FL3, radio's working fine. So that's basically it. This is N2LEN with the repair of the ceramic filters. Uh, once again, these came from uh, Alibaba, uh, AliExpress from China, LT455DW, CQ33, 455D, and I ordered, like I said, 35 pieces. It took quite some time to get delivered, but they, they, they appear to be the exact of what was in there. Let me pull one up. This is FL3. And you can clearly see, there you go. CQ 33455D. And that's what was replaced for both. So this is N2LEN saying best seven threes.